Mm. Hello, my friends, old friends, new friends. Thank you for joining my, really my favorite part of the week where we all kind of get to reconnect. And um, one of the things I would just want to encourage you to do right away is look around, look at the different people, let yourself notice, oh, here's a community where I'm always welcome. And this is also a community that's very much a come as you are party. Um, you're totally welcome to come however you're feeling, however you're dressed or not dressed. I happen to live in a place in the country where I, def I could actually go down to the store in my jammies and nobody would care. <laughs> and maybe post, well, we're not post pandemic, but at this place in the pandemic, um, I have a whole lot of I don't care. And, uh, you know, I've really been focusing so much on what is important. And for me, what is important is reaffirming my sense of presence. How do I find presence with myself? And through that presence, I connect with others. And this kind of collaboration and play is really one of my favorites and one that we can do all the time the play of attention. And I just wanna remind us all that attention is as much a nutrient as, I'm sure you've probably already eaten today and for sure you've already drunk some water, but the, the practice of giving and receiving attention is something that we generally don't consider as essential. And I want you to know how incredibly essential it is and to celebrate that you know that because here you are and practicing. And my intention with these is that we first fill our own reservoir, mm -hmm. that the reservoir of attention first spills into any of those little places where it's been lacking in us, and then the extra gets to spill over in for others. And, um, I had a word arise for me over the weekend, the word buoyancy, buoyant. And let yourself just try that on in your mouth because when you say buoyant, it's kind of onomatopoetic, buoyant. It kind of, you know, I feel a little bit like a puffer fish when I say buoyant, I whoop and get more space. So. When you play with that buoyant, let yourself notice how am I experiencing buoyant, the, the, the experience in the word buoyant. And as it was arising, I realized that after I broke my hip, which was five years ago now, which just seems amazing, I realized after a while that I had lost up I, I actually couldn't find up in my body for a very long time. So to have buoyant arise from within my experience and inform my brain that I have recovered a, that, that, whatever buoyant is, I looked it up, but it doesn't, the definition doesn't, you know, it's very physics oriented and, you know, the difference between two different volumes and, uh, but the actual experience for me of buoyant was of, it's kind of if I'm, if I'm to botify it, in fact, go ahead and botify it yourself, buoyant. And for me, it's a, and it comes with, with more in-breath. And so I wanted to have you experiment with letting your love scoops with yourself communicate buoyancy and especially giving that mm, to any place in you that's been feeling squished or flattened or just kind of unnourished so that you bring in that mwong, 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 like one of those great fish that's going to or turtles I think of the way that turtles move as a kind of buoyant rhythm. Let yourself give that kind of not only buoyant rhythm, but the content of buoyant to any places 
like for me, it's right here in my back. I'm going to give some buoyancy to that place in my back. Ah, and letting yourself do that a few times. And landing, letting yourself land and seeing what and where in you is it calling to have more buoyancy. I was also giving some attention to my sacrum over, well, over the last five years, but especially this area right here. So find that, find that area for you. There's, you kind of have a little indentation there and let yourself give some buoyant love scoops to that area in your back because that's the area that all of your fear melters, your stepping into the world, it all comes from a feeling of the circulation of attention in this area. And I was realizing and feeling that I've just in the last few weeks, I've increased kind of the flow and the buoyancy in this area. And as I'm standing and as you're standing, notice if it changes at all. And see, Darlene's doing love scoops in this direction, which is great. What other directions? Because you could do love scoop, you know, like the breaststroke and bring things in. So letting yourself experiment with different ways of drawing in and landing. Mm, and as I'm doing that, it's making me feel very uh, happy and buoyant. <laughs> it helps too that I sit on a chair that has its own buoyancy. It's very helpful. <laughs> ah. And then the other thing that occurred to me uh, was the, the, the buoyancy of a balloon. And I wanted to invite you to imagine that you're tossing a balloon and notice how it changes the way that you use your body, the rhythm at which you touch, just that the lightness of your attention. Now, balloons are great because you can also smash them. That's really fun. But the whole idea of, and we use that in our game of tossing. But what was occurring to me is that so many people are feeling frayed, squished, flattened that our attention going out into the world, if we have the kind of delicacy of a balloon, imagine letting your attention go out and land somewhere just in the space around you. And notice what it's like to give your light but buoyancy inviting attention out in the world. And then imagine that the universe is tossing a balloon back to you and let that land in you, let yourself play with it. You can also toss that balloon inside you to any places that are feeling meh or squishy or grumpy, you know, or I'm not going to do that. Um, and that kind of just lightness, I think, invites. Ah, more spaciousness, more expansion. So letting the balloon, that lightness, toss inside you. You could toss it like that place in your lower back. You know, any place. This is a good place in the back of your neck to toss. And then let your body respond to receiving that kind of boing, boing. Mm. And then letting your attention go back out and tossing the balloon way out there. And noticing that it may land, you know, over in another state or around the world. But letting your attention go with that, just landing with 
someone that you're thinking of or a community that you want to give that loving attention to. The circulation of attention is a continuous gift that we can give to ourselves and the people that we know and the people that we don't know. <sighs> and then bringing that attention back to you and let it be a, now a tiny little bloom that gets moved around in you and where it gets moved around, things open up. And then you can let it go out in the world and swirling and letting yourself notice where that wants to land. Like I'm thinking of a friend of mine who just had surgery and I'm letting the balloon I can imagine me being there with her and I'm just letting the balloon and all of the lightness of that attention just land on her to give some expansion and loving presence. Mm. And then let that attention come to someplace in you where you have a, I'm not going to, I'm not ever going to, I don't like this. I don't like the way I feel. I'm just not going to play. Because we all have an I'm not going to play part. I can feel that right now in the back of my left ankle <laughs> for some reason. Uh, when I was little, my mother said that I was the most stubborn person that she'd ever met. And so that you know goes with digging your heels in. So. I want you to give some loving attention to the part of you that has protected you all these years that may have gotten criticized by other people because my stubbornness kept me actually safe and allowed me to survive in my family. My no, I'm not going to. So the part of you that has protected you and taken care of you Let's give some loving attention to that, even though it may have been misunderstood by other people. So for me, it's in here also, because I get my jaw set and then my shoulder set, and then I'm not gonna. <laughs> and so you're, I'm not gonna, or you can't make me, or I don't like this. Yeah, it can be in your jaws, in your shoulders, in your feet is giving loving attention, especially this kind of attention of, yeah, you did such a great job. You did a wonderful job. And now you could maybe even lighten it up a little bit. You could have that same kind of attention that's more of a nudge than a sledgehammer. So let yourself give loving attention and appreciation to that part of you that kept you safe. You'll always have that. And ah, that, that love scoop, ah, that thank you. And ah, maybe some little fluttering, love scooping fluttering to that part of you. I'm appreciating my heels and my heels are going, thank you, thank you. And they're doing a little, little wiggle. <laughs> ah, wonderful. So buoyancy, buoyancy. And giving that to any place that could use more, ah, more breath, more love. And as you do that for you, I'm imagining as you move around in the world, you're gonna see and feel the opportunities to give that to others. And for me, that is my main mission when I'm out in the world, is I'm looking for where could my attention be of support to others? Because I know I always come back to me. So when you do that, be sure that you come back to you and giving loving attention to you. And it's, I think, one of the biggest gifts that we can give to each other right now as we're riding the rapids, you know, and as my friend Ron Kurtz used to say, when you're riding the rapids, the most important thing is to stay in the boat. So I want you to consider this meeting as your boat 
And I'm so glad you're in the boat. And I welcome, if you fall out of the boat, let us know, we'll come get you <laughs> with our intention and bring you back in again. So thank you so much for being here this morning and have a wonderful week. And I'm going to take my leave now and you're welcome to stay and continue tossing.